Cheers. What is going on today, YouTube? I hope you guys are all having a good Monday today. Today is Monday, the day after the Super Bowl recording this. Um, I hope everybody had a good Super Bowl Sunday. I hope everybody got home safe after their night of having fun. Uh, no accidents, no craziness going on. Uh, but nonetheless, it was a good football game. I'm, uh, for those of you that don't know, I'm huge into football. Uh, Hurricanes, and I'm from, from Miami, so the Hurricanes and the Dolphins is the team to go. Now, I know the Dolphins haven't been doing too good. But I got a lot of hope with the Hurricanes, and I don't know if you guys have noticed, but back there I got a Hurricanes flag because I am a diehard Hurricanes fan. So, nonetheless, the purpose of today's video, um, I'm just going to be talking about what I'm doing next on the Cummings. Uh, I got a lot of good feedback from the Manifold install, so I thank you guys for it. I really appreciate it. Um, it's get, kind of getting a little dark out here, but it's pretty good lighting right now. It looks brighter on the camera than it does in real life. It's weird. But yeah, we're going to be talking about what's going on with the Cummins next. Um, I just finished washing it up. It was it was so dirty. I'm sorry. It was it looked so bad. I couldn't stand it. I got home from work today. It was like 4:30 and I was like, "Man, you know what? I'm about to pop the hood." I was like, "Man, you know what? I have to wash her." She was she she was past due for it, man. I'm not a huge fan of keeping her all messed up and nasty looking. So she had to get cleaned up. Um so we got her washed up. I'll show you guys how she looks right now. In a minute. All right, this is the end result. Got her all glossed up. I did not put tire shine on yet, just because I like I wipe the tires down, dry them off with a rag, and then I let them air dry, so that way the tire shine sticks real good to it. But yeah, so this is it, man. She came out real good. There's something about washing a white car or a white painted vehicle when you wash it, and what and like you can see the dirt, the dirt just like leave and it's just a, it's a satisfying feeling man it's almost as satisfying as when I cracked open this uh stone IPA for those of you also that don't know I'm really into craft beer so if you guys like talking about craft beer sports anything comment down below uh if you want I tell you what you know what let's do it comment if you watch this video I want you to comment down below if you drink obviously if you don't it's okay you can say your favorite juice or whatever tell me your favorite your favorite beer uh, it don't matter if it's a Coors, uh, PBA, I'm sorry, PBR, <laughs> PBR, uh, whatever, to whatever your beer is you like to sip on or just drink in general, you know, tonic and gin, whatever. Let me know. Uh, I like to see what people sip on out there in the, in the world. So, yeah, I'm just showing, giving you guys a walk around real quick, letting you know how I got it cleaned up. Uh, I'm going to be taking off three of these stickers. I'm going to be taking off this guy right here, which was my sergeant sticker when I got promoted I put it on there but it's gone to hell then I'm going to take off those two in the bottom corner over there that one to the right is a shocker and then that one's there is a performance sticker from my other car but I'm keeping the 53 on there because well I work on them <laughs> so yeah so with today's video um talking about what's next for the Cummins okay so first things first I'm gonna show you guys how it came out the other day oh forgot. wow forgot to put down my wiper blades put themselves down though so first things first, I'm going to show you guys the engine. I know it's kind of dark in here. I'm sorry. But uh, you guys can see that sexy, that sexy beast right there. Okay. So, yeah. And the CCV reroute is doing good. Uh, holding up strong there. I know you can't really see. It's so dark in there. I'm so sorry. I'm not even going to waste my time. Waste you guys' time looking at that. But, uh... Yes, nonetheless, let's let's get this video started. So the next two the next two big mods I want to get done to the truck. Um let me know how you guys feel about it. I want to get done the redhead steering gearbox. Uh that is my top priority right now. Is that in between a uh, fuel a uh, fuel pump, lift pump. Um also, I'll get to lift pump in a second. Let me talk about the, the steering box. So with the steering box, that box is shot. Um I grab the shaft, the steering shaft, and I can spin it. I can get about a good quarter quarter play turn back and forth, so half and half, I can get a turn out of it. Uh, that's not good. And the thing is, is I don't believe it's the steering shaft, although I'm, I'm going to replace the steering shaft when I do it because I'm going to put a Borgeson uh, steering shaft in it, but that box is shot. Um, when I drive, I have a ton of play in there, and it's crazy. So redhead steering, steering gearbox, I already priced one out. You can get, now there's like, I think three different models, you can get the, the 
base one, middle one, and I think a high one, or it might just be two. I don't remember, but I'm getting the one that's 350, so that's the entry one. But it's supposed to be a lot better than the stock ones, even a stock remanufactured one. Um, definitely gonna be doing that though, and then that's it with that, just to get it, just to get better suspension, because it's wearing my tire out. Um, it's so dark out here. I don't even know if it's worth to show you guys. I'll try get the light set up. So I'm gonna show you guys. So looking at this tire, looking at it far away, it looks normal. But as you get closer to it, you see how you see how that knot, that knob right there sticks up high. It looks higher than this one, but that's because it is. So what happens is is that every other knob. So this row here. So I'm using my other hand because the light. This row here is high. This row is low, and it does that every other every other row on the uh, on the truck. So I'm going to be getting. I, I have to get the steering box replaced. I, <coughs> sorry, I already replaced all the front end linkage. I replaced um. I replaced all the all the ball joints, tie rod ends, everything. I put it all in last summer myself. It came out good. It helped out actually a ton because before it's bad now but before it was way worse so that definitely helped out uh but yeah nonetheless redhead steering gearbox is going to be the next uh, next project um, i'm looking forward to being able to do that yeah i'm looking forward to being able to do that just because she needs it i mean she needs the, she needs it you know that's my baby i love her uh, so I want to treat her good. I want her to last a long time. So I got to take care of her and she needs a steering gearbox now going on to the other Oh bad lighting going on to the other one is going to be the fast lift pump uh, We need a fat we need a lift pump We need more fuel for this thing because what I'm about to be doing when it comes to the injectors We're gonna need more fuel and the turbo. Yes, we're gonna need more fuel. So I'm still 50 50 right now on air dog or fast you guys help me out Tell me which one you recommend. I'll take your opinion into consideration but I'm stuck 50/50. Um, reason why is because Air Dog has an adjustable pressure screw. You can adjust the PSI for your fuel pressure, uh, which is really convenient. If Air Dog 2 in the 4G, the original one does not have that. But I think that's really a, a good feature, especially especially if you just want to be able to go out there with a, you know, Phillips flathead, whatever it is, to adjust it and just be able to turn it, and you're good, and you can watch it. Um, but that's definitely coming. A lift pump is a must. So. I want to get a lift pump bad. Uh, you guys help me out. I'm not, I'm, I'm knowledgeable, but I'm not extremely knowledgeable when it comes to fueling for these trucks. So if you guys have information that I should know or you think is good to know, let me know and I'll definitely consider it and I'll highly appreciate it. Uh, I know I said I have about two updates coming soon, but another one, let's see if I can go out here and get good light and stuff. Another one that I'm going to be looking for is going to be a, um, oh man, I'm having a brain fart. Uh, glow shift lights okay so in the truck I want to get column I want to get three column lights I want trans temp fuel pressure and a pyro pyrometer or EGT temp uh, right now there's nothing there it's just a handle so I want to get I want to get something there so I can be able to keep an eye on my gauges so especially the EGTs and the trans temp because these transmissions we all know about the 68 REs we all know how they are um, so a cool transmission is a happy temp a transmission so along with that I also need to do a deep dish pan on it but I'm not gonna put money in a deep dish pan in it if I'm just gonna be end up in the long run getting the transmission redone uh, by Suncoast so I don't know I keep touching my face <laughs> I felt something so yeah but that's what we're looking at right now um, let me know what you guys think let me know how you think the truck came out after the wash. If, was it clean? Yes, no, maybe so. Uh, and I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching so much. We're getting more subscribers on the channel. The goal is 100 subscribers. We're trying to get to 100 subscribers for this channel. We get to 100 subscribers, I'm doing a giveaway. Hands down, flat out. We get to 100 subscribers, $25 gift card is going out. I will not announce the gift card yet because I don't want people trying to get all antsy and stuff. But I am doing a giveaway when we get to 100 subscribers. So. Let's keep getting the channel, keep sharing it. People are sharing the channels. I appreciate it so much. Thank you guys. You guys are being awesome. The community out there, the love, the love is real when it comes to the Cummins community. And I think it's awesome that we can get together on, on, on one thing and be able to all have something in common with it. Um, a lot of people follow on the Instagram channel. We're getting close to a hundred uh, on there too. I won't be surprised, you know, a couple weeks from now, we send out a hundred followers. So I really appreciate everybody that's been following and watching these videos, supporting the channel, giving me positive comments. You guys are awesome. 
Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, if you like this video, do me a favor, give it a like, a thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel for more content because I guarantee you, you do not want to miss out when we get more content for the Cummins truck. Uh, she's going to be a badass truck come this summer. And I do plan on going to some shows, shows uh, within North Carolina and maybe even out of state depending on how, if it's worth it. But definitely going to be doing some touring this summer. Um, I can't wait. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much. You guys are awesome. Take care. Peace out. God bless. See you next time.